Well, God bless you. I'm having those divine appointments the last few days. I've been saying the angel of the Lord is what I'm telling people. I don't know how else to explain it. When you meet somebody that you prayed for, you know, just out of the clear blue sky and they're doing well and just such a blessing. It's uh, in the evening, Saturday evening. We're going to have Thanksgiving dinner here tomorrow. And pastor's in there <laughs> cutting up potatoes. <laughs> God bless them. So anyway, finish mopping and getting things cleaned up and ready. But I just wanted to say this. Yesterday, it was yesterday, I was praying... Uh, that great psalm when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dreamed then was our mouth, mouth filled with a laughter and our tongue was singing then said they among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity O Lord as the streams in the south they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. <laughs> they that go forth bearing precious seed weepeth and weepeth uh, with precious seed uh, shall without doubt return again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. And so we were on the streets yesterday and uh, brought a couple people back for the service last night on a Friday night. Tonight, Saturday, on the streets again today. I was sharing the gospel. A young man comes up to me, and I recognized him right away, but he put some weight on, and he was clean and sober and in his right mind. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. I don't know. I, I think I did a write-up, but I wasn't doing really videos last year and uh, this is the guy I I think it was like world uh, you know Earth Day or something like that and there was a big march thousands of people I think it was Earth Day anyway so there was one of those little toy trumpets and I found a spot <clears throat> in the city uh, with a, like a natural uh, amphitheater and I blew this trumpet I started preaching on the day of the Lord uh, the, how the Lord shall descend with the sound of the trumpet and this young man just freaked out and he took his needle he threw his needle down he got on his knees on the sidewalk and started praying and uh, I was uh, I was really amazed to see that how the Lord touched his heart. And uh, the next day I saw him in the same place and I sat down and talked to him. And he said he'd been on that street, homeless and doing drugs for three years. The next day that I saw him, I hugged, he was almost naked. His body was covered in dirt, sidewalk dirt, sleeping on the sidewalk. He had fleas, and when I hugged him, the fleas jumped on me, and I was patting my arm, you know, trying to kill the fleas, and uh, I sat down with him and read the Bible with him, and we sang a few gospel songs. He was in his right mind, and must have grown in the church, knew the Lord somehow, but he just uh, uh, really had a nice, clear voice for, I mean, like a worship leader type voice. And I was just so, you know, amazed at what God did in his life. And then, um, like so often happens, I never saw him again. And this was, I guess, 10, 12 months ago. And I saw him today in his right mind and calling on Jesus. And, and uh, I'm going to meet him tomorrow for coffee and bring him to church. But I was praying that psalm, you know, 
He that goeth forth and beareth precious seed, you know, and weepeth. And I just was kind of groaning before the Lord, you know. I mean, we preach the good word of God and plant that seed, but man, it's so good to bring them into the house of the Lord where they can hear the gospel and get grounded and, you know, have those healthy relationships. And so that's what I've been praying for the last, what I have been praying, was praying for the last couple of days. And so, uh, so God willing, we'll have uh, some people coming in off the streets that, you know, gave their life to Christ. And it's, uh, I'm just very grateful to the Lord tonight. I just wanted to make a little, I guess, video log. Uh, and uh, here was a guy, you know, out of his mind on dope and almost naked, covered in dirt and fleas. And and here he is in his right mind and clean and sober. And, you know, I kind of felt bad about taking him down memory lane, but I wanted him to remember who I was, that I had prayed for him. And I hope it wasn't selfish, but... He knew right away and he understood and I don't think he was offended. That's important. Um, but he was very grateful to the Lord and he wants to get on the streets with us. So, so I just bless the Lord tonight. And I pray the Lord will uh, increase your fruit, increase your faith, to lay hold of the promise of God, to bring the people to church bring the people to church. I don't have a car anymore, but when I had a car, you know, I'd load it up and bring people to church, man. Bring people to church. Get them in the house of God. Uh, it's sad to say, but most people, the only time most people, you know, experience the presence of God in their life is in church on Sunday morning. And, and we pray that they do, that they feel loved and welcomed, that the, that the Spirit of God will meet them and stir them and touch their heart. And, uh, that's what we pray. Bring in those sheaves. Bring in the men whom Christ has touched and saved. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so uh, the Lord bless you tonight. Uh, have fun, stay safe, <laughs> and give God the glory in everything. <laughs>